first off, sorry for being unprepared for the Kyle Arson vlog this morning. I thought about taking it down, but it's had well over 6,000 views in, since 8 o'clock this morning. It's going on 7 o'clock now. So in less than 12 hours, it's unbelievable that can have that many views in one day, but it did. But there's been three major developments in the Kyle Larson case. Three sponsors disassociating themselves with Kyle Larson. Number one is Chevrolet, the manufacturer of Chip Ganassi Racing. Number two is Credit One Bank, one of the sponsors of Chip Ganassi. Number three is McDonald's, again, one of the big sponsors of Chip Ganassi Racing. So, frankly, Kyle Larson's NASCAR career may be over. I do not see how. I believe he will be reinstated by NASCAR. I'll have to take that sensitivity training. I talked about the possibility of that this morning. And NASCAR said that's one will be one condition of his reinstatement, sensitivity training. But I do not see how with losing three major sponsors like that, Chip Ganassi can keep them. I'm sure them, those contracts have morals clauses in them. Now, frankly, and I'm not defending what he did. I mean, I got accused of using it. And frankly, I grew up around it. So, yeah, a few years ago I did. Not anymore. But my dad was extremely racist. I guarantee you, if I'd had any African-American friends while I was in school and tried to bring them home, they would have been run off by my dad. I mean, it was... I was casual friends with a couple of them, but would never even think about asking them to the house because of my dad. Um, then, but, and really right now I've only got one, because frankly the circle that I run in, you know, the racing, there's not a lot around, except for one guy, good guy, in his 20s, has worked on some of the same race cars I've helped on. And he'll bust his butt on those cars. But getting back to Kyle Larson, I don't see how Ganassi can keep him. I really don't. Three major sponsors. I, frankly, I think his NASCAR career may be over. He may be going back to open wheel. I mean, I would, I would like to see him stay in NASCAR. Yes, he made a mistake. Big mistake. He apologized. But it's already done. There's not much he can do. The other thing... I don't understand is why they were playing that live the comments come over TV I believe live I didn't watch it so it may not come over TV but you know when they play the car to pit radios and they uh, accidentally played Chad Canals live when Jimmy Johnson blew an engine at Charlotte and Chad Canals dropped the F-bomb and NASCAR couldn't do nothing that was TV's fault TV is supposed to be playing the car to pit radios on a brief tape delay so they can censor it if need be. They didn't do it. Why wasn't the iRacing, which I, I tried to watch the first one, I couldn't get into it. Why is that live? Why not have that on tape delay? Because a driver could easily mad, be mad at another driver, even in iRacing, for wrecking him and utter a profanity that... They don't want on TV. I don't understand it. It's, it would have saved a lot if they had the beep button working and they just would have thought, oh, he just cussed somebody out and had been the end of it. Drivers do that all the time over their two way. Trust me, I've listened to enough of them. But as much as I hate to see it, Kyle Larson may be done in NASCAR. He may have to go back to running the sprints and midgets. And try to eke out a living. I'm sure he won't make as much money as he could in NASCAR, but he brought it on himself. So, but you hate to see a young guy like Ed's career literally go down the t drain, and that's what it looks like.